Hello everyone, this is Venu Gopal. Today in this video, we will see constructors in inheritance. Let us consider one program. We will declare one class, class parent. Inside the class, we will define one constructor. So to define constructor, we use the keyword def underscore underscore init underscore self. Here I'll print parent constructor. Okay, so in the parent class, we have one constructor and we are printing one message called as parent constructor. Now I'll derive one class from this parent class, class derived, which is deriving from the parent class. And suppose this constructor, so this uh, derived class have one method, normal method, let us consider print it's a show method or it's a derived class it's a method from derived class so basically we have only one constructor that is parent constructor we have derived one class which is derived from the parent class and in the parent in the derived class we have one method Right, we don't have any constructor in the derived class constructor. Now let us make, let us create an object of derived class d equals to derived. That's it. Let us call first this function. What happened? We'll see. If we execute this program, so generally whenever we are creating the object, the constructor of the respective class will be executing right but here we do we, we are not having any constructor in the derived class right so in that case this will execute the parent class constructor let us check right click and you can see the output okay so it is executing the parent class constructor right so derived class when that means what what is the conclusion if if parent class has one constructor, but derived class is not having any constructor, then in that case, whenever you are creating the derived class constructor, then it will search for the constructor in the derived class constructor, uh, derived class first. If it is not available, then it will by default, it will execute the parent class constructor. Now the show is not executed because it is a function. If you want to execute the show function, you have to call the function explicitly. If I'll execute, it will give the second message. So this is what a whenever a parent class having the constructor. Now, suppose instead of this function, we have one more constructor derived class constructor. So we are defining one more constructor in the derived class constructor. Now this always this self represent that this constructor belongs to derived class. And this self belongs to this constructor is belongs to parent class. Okay, so in this, I'll print one message. I'll write a child class or derived class constructor. Now what we will do constructor. Now again, same program, but in this case, whenever we are creating the object of the derived class constructor, obviously it will search for the zero argument constructor. Now this is a zero argument constructor. Self is not an argument. Okay. So it is a zero argument constructor. So it will check whether any constructor is available in the derived class. If it is then, then it will execute the derived class constructor only. In that case, it will not going to execute the constructor of the parent class. If I'll execute this one, you can check it out the output. It is giving the derived class constructor only. Okay. Now, suppose in this case, if I want to execute before executing the derived class constructor, I want to execute the parent class constructor. Now we know that from the derived class constructor, 
a derived class if anything we want to access of the super class we have to use one keyword that is called as a super keyword so we need to use the super keyword and the init constructor and it is not taking any argument so that is the reason why we are not passing any of the argument now if i'll execute this program you can observe that derived class construct object is created so it, it is going to the execute the derived class constructor it will enter into the derived class constructor then it will calling the super class constructor that is the reason why it is executing first parent constructor in the output and then it will calling the derived class constructor so this is for zero argument constructor we can add the comment here accessing super class or base class constructor base class constructor using super keyword this is one technique if you want to access you can have one more option by taking the parent class name parent dot same same but the only thing is what whenever you are calling the above constructor using super super keyword then self keyword is not mandatory but whenever you are calling the same constructor using the class name then compulsorily you have to provide the self keyword if i'll execute the output will be same like see it it is printing the two times parent constructor and then one time derived class constructor So that's it. And one more thing, uh, I would like to add something. Suppose it is a parameterized constructor name. And I want to print here the name, comma, name. So whenever you're calling this uh, base class constructor using a super, super keyword, and if it is taking an argument, you have to pass the argument like this. And here I'll pass a different name, Ajay. If I'll execute this, you can find out the output. The first is printing Venu, second is printing Ajay, and the third one is derived class constructor. So this is how uh, the constructors are executed in the inheritance. Okay, how to access the base class constructor in the derived class constructor using super keyword. So that's it for today. Uh, this session will come up with uh, with some more videos. Till then, keep watch. Bye-bye.